So this guy, he is a content creator, but he is also a comrade. But of all the content he could make in the world, he decided to be the Andrew Tate of Kenya. Yes, he even goes by to call himself Onyango Tate. Please. It's a scam. His name is Job Nyakach, an MKU student who decided to make content around the Matrix. He started off slow by making podcasts of Escaping the Matrix, a term that has been used by the original Andrew Tate a lot of times. The term means the normal way of life or the system and the way the government usually controls everything. That is what we call the Matrix. It has been derived from the movie, The Matrix. If you haven't watched that movie, go ahead and check it out. You will understand what I'm talking about. So, Andrew Tate has been a very controversial person. In 2021, 2022, and 2023, he has even been jailed. He was the most Googled person in 2022. And this guy decided to copy him. He was accused of human trafficking and was arrested and jailed for almost six months in Romania. And now our Kenyan guy decided mimic the guy that has been arrested for human trafficking. Anyways, he didn't mimic that part. He mimicked the part that he always fights the matrix. Right now, all these people think they're going to be rich by doing this exam. So what did Onyango Tate do? He decided to take his content a little bit higher and attacked the matrix directly. In August, he went on TikTok to post this video. Exam paper. This is an exam paper you are seeing. So tell me, how is this thing going to make you rich? Okay, you have defined data collection good. I know you are a good definer of terms. Now tell me how is, how is it going to make you rich? In the video, he is heard talking about how the university is useless and he asked how defining terms will make you rich. How is this thing going to make you rich? But that is not even the worst part. The worst part is he ended up attacking his lecturers. He was heard talking about how his lecturers are old and they are driving shitty cars. Look at these old bullshit cars. They belong to all your lecturers. Hmm? Your lecturer is 60 years old and above driving this, these shitty cars. Hmm? And they are your role models. Let me study hard so that I can be my, like my lecturer. Shut the fuck up. This guy, Ani Aliamotu, violence is the option. Now, it turns out the lecturers didn't take the insults on their shitty cars lightly. Two months later, after the video went viral, the guy was handed a suspension letter from the university. The university disciplinary committee summoned you to answer for the charges of inciting fellow students and other members of the community to commit offenses and found you guilty. The university resolved that you will be suspended from the university for one semester, that is September to December. You will be expected to report back in January 2024. Please note that this is the final warning. Now netizens have come out giving, giving different comments and views on how the school handled and what the boy could possibly do. One of the comments say that, Lawyers on my timeline wanasema Onyango Tate anaweza siu MKU for invading his freedom of speech na anaweza shinda hiyo kesi. Lawyers on BNN tell us, does this guy stand a chance against MKU in a court of law? And another one said that, I saw this coming when he talked about his lecturer's cars. Hata kama ni content, let him escape the matrix now. What do you think? Do you think the guy was wrong for insulting the matrix, which is the the Kenyan education system, of which the Kenyan education system is trash. According to me, Pia, or, or, me always ni, ni, ni suspend from anything. <laughs> the education system is trash. Like, how can you be taught how to define something and expect that thing to make you rich? Like, brah. Teach us how to make uh, something. Like, teach us how to, to create and produce things. Practically. Wachana na makaratasi. Escape the matrix. Onyango tet. <laughs> Until next time, guys, peace out.